Riding fixed gear bikes is different from riding other bikes, because you don't only use the power of your legs to accelerate, but also to slow down. You need to be able to apply full force in both directions. Does this mean that you need specific cycling shoes to ride fixed gear? No, of course you don't. You do need foot retention though, and cycling shoes with SPD pedals is one way to achieve that. But if anything, fixed gear is actually one of the bike segments where cycling shoes are the least adopted, because so many fixed gear riders use pedal straps, which offers foot retention with any shoes you might want to ride in. I never thought I would buy cycling shoes, because I do use pedal straps, and since they do work with any shoes, I didn't see a good reason to spend the money. So for a long time I just used my running shoes, and I was totally happy with that. Then I learned that running shoes are actually the least effective shoes to ride in, because they soak up so much power with their big squishy soles. So I bought a pair of shoes with flat soles, and I was totally happy with that too. Then I learned that even flat shoes lose a lot of power, unless the soles are stiff. At that point I accepted it, because I just ride for fun. But then I signed up for a 150 km race, and I felt like I needed to find some performance. Slippery slope, these shoes are dope. The Velo Sambas are not like most cycling shoes. First of all, they don't look like cycling shoes at all. The entire bottom is rubber, so they are way more walkable than other cycling shoes, which are just not designed for walking at all, obviously. But the Velo Sambas still have a hard sole above the rubber, making them very stiff. I couldn't do this in normal shoes. The fact that I can walk with them makes them great for riding to the grocery store or any other situation where I want to ride to something that requires walking. There is also a place to attach cleats if I want to go down the SPD pedal road. And if I do, the cleats shouldn't stick out any lower than the soles, so it won't affect the walkability or take away my option to still ride with straps. Jack of all trades, and therefore probably a master of none, but to me it's a good compromise. As someone who strives for minimalism in my life, I'm a little bit torn about having cycling shoes, but once that decision was made, the Velo Sambas is the minimalist's choice, considering how versatile they are. The first time I used the Velo Sambas I was shocked by how different it felt compared to other shoes. I have never tried any cycling shoes before in my life. It was like if the pedals had disappeared, but after a while it felt more like the shoes became the pedals. And the difference in power was surprisingly big. If you are searching for performance gains, look this way before upgrading anything else on your bike. Transferring more power in every pedal stroke will, surprise surprise, make you go faster and longer with less effort. Something that may or may not be important to you, depending on why you are riding. One negative thing might be comfort. I don't think the Velo Sambas are uncomfortable, but the combination of a stiff sole and tight straps actually makes my toes go numb after a while. That never happened to me with any other shoes, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't stop me from choosing the Velo Sambas for every single bike ride now that I have them, and the toe thing might be solvable if I fiddle a bit more with the straps. The 150km race was a good test. I'm very happy that I got the shoes before the race, as it was a tough ride for me, and my feet were perfectly happy after reaching the goal. I really like the Velo Sambas. I have seen them on sale for under 100 bucks previously, so if you are considering them but want a better deal than the normal price, be on the lookout for another price drop. Just remember that the supply for popular colors and sizes often are low during sales. If you have any questions or whatever, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.